Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today's Windows 10 tutorial is going to cover streaming your Xbox One to your Windows 10 PC. Now guys, there's a lot of reasons you'd want to do this. Uh, primarily, if your Xbox is on the main screen in your home, or if you're just wanting to play on your laptop or desktop, this is a great way, and it doesn't rely on high processors, great GPUs, it's just basically viewing what your Xbox is putting out as a display. So, uh, as soon as you open your Xbox app, and that's usually, they usually have it right here from the get-go if you haven't configured your start menu, or you can type down here where you usually have the address bar, just type Xbox, and it's preloaded. When you first open it up, you'll have to sign in to your Microsoft account, and that'll bring your gamer tag, all your info, and kind of your dashboard here. Now, at this point, we're not streaming yet. This is just the app and the information you've got, like on the game hub and all that good stuff. You'll have a place right here that lets you start game streaming. Now, if you haven't connected yet, the first time you click on it, it'll look for Xboxes on your network. Now, when I say on your network, that's something you've really got to listen to because within any home network, you may have a 2.4 gigahertz band a 5 gigahertz band or multiple networks within one household. Now your Xbox and your PC have to be on that same network. And I recommend the 5 gigahertz band just because of the bandwidth it puts out. Uh, it doesn't go as far signal wise, but you can play around. Just make sure they're both on the same network, whichever one you choose. Now, like I said, when you first click that, it will get you all uh, set up start streaming. And it'll actually come to a screen that looks like this. And the first thing you want to do is do the testing on the streaming. And I've already ran that because it does take a moment. And it'll let you know the quality that you can stream based on the connection. And this one that I did lets me stream anywhere from low to high. Now the relevance of this is depending on the kind of game you're playing. And if you're playing like a fast twitch shooter like Call of Duty, you may want to lower the resolution and the quality so that you got a little bit more uh, network bandwidth that won't lag out on you. Now this being said, I'll go ahead and start the stream to my Xbox One. And the first thing you're going to see is that there's no controllers attached. Now you can attach your controller via USB to your Xbox controller. Now, in my case, even though I'm on the bottom story of my house, uh, my Xbox still picks up my controller perfectly. So I'll just hit continue, and I'm still wireless. And it comes to your game hub, your main screen. And from here, you just play your game like normal. You can go to any single thing you'd like. The one uh, thing to keep in mind, though, is let's say you're wanting to stream on Twitch. Now, when you are... Uh, streaming like this you know you're already doing streaming from your Xbox to a remote display if you try to stream on Twitch it will not allow you and you cannot uh, do screenshots recording the screen so there's one thing to keep in mind if uh, you're gonna be playing a game where you think you may have something you want to record they haven't added that capability yet but just so you can kind of see in action here I'm probably about uh, 50 feet and downstairs and playing Fallout and everything just runs fine. You will see a little bit of artifacting depending on the quality you're running at. And like right now they got me on medium. If I go to very high we may see the network slow down but you will see a little bit better picture. And like I said you won't see it. This won't be ultra HD or anything like that. And depending on network conditions, you can get lag or it can just kind of go through almost a buffering moment. I was hoping to show you all that, but yeah, the quality will get better as the game goes on. And it kind of decides which network's best, but whatever it picks from the get-go, usually you want to stick with that just so you have the least amount of lag. But as you can see, for the most part, it does look pretty good. It does run really well, a lot better than it did a year ago. But that's about it, guys. Like I said, to uh, kind of go over things, just make sure you're on the same network. Try to hit that 5 gigahertz band if you can. And I have no idea why that just happened. But 
As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video or it helped, hit that like, subscribe, and leave me a message in the comments. Thanks.